I asked Nightshade if she wanted to say something about her favourite cats in stories. But Nightshade said too many belong to witches and cats don't really belong to people. The cat chooses the human, Nightshade says. So I said, what about the Cheshire Cat in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland? And Nightshade agreed that's a good cat character because it doesn't appear to belong to a human, which is how it's supposed to be. I said, isn't there a whole series about the Wild Warrior Cats by Erin Hunter? Humans don't even get a look in in those stories. And then Nightshade did ag admit that she quite likes Crookshanks, the squash-faced orange cat who first appears in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Nightshade said Crookshanks does some pretty good detective work, spotting one of the baddies long before anyone else. Um, a much nicer cat, Nightshade says, than Mrs Norris, who also appears in the Harry Potter books and everyone knows her as Filch's cat. I wondered what Nightshade thought of McCavity, who's less of a detective and more of the baddie in T.S. Eliot's Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats. For he's a fiend in feline shape, a monster of depravity. McCavity could be considered an evil criminal mastermind, as whenever a crime's committed, McCavity's not there. Nightshade said if we're going to talk about criminal cats, then how about The Amazing Morris and His Educated Rodents by Terry Pratchett? Morris is a fast-talking confidence trickster cat. He organises teams of rats to invest, infest a town um, as part of a Pied Piper scam. Then there's The Cat in the Hat by Dr Zeus, but Nightshade didn't know that one, so I suggested she go and read it and let me know what she thought. But she said in picture books, her favourite is always Mog by Judith Kerr as she's the cat who seems most like a real-life cat. Then she remembered Scarface Claw and Slinky Malinky by Linley Dodd and said that those are quite like real-life cats too, so they received a nod of approval. So we agreed that cats do quite often get a good deal in fiction and perhaps, after all, she does have a few favourites. Mm.